when we produce something using a typical authoring tool. The business side of the authoring companies don't want to deal with the reality that people see the future as one where data is transmitted transparently and data is stored as a kind of an aggregate assumption. Mm -hmm. And so all think of all the interactions that we have today that are that dominate the industry, multiple choice tests and so mm -hmm. forth and so on, all that kind of thing. They're they're all kind of curtailed down to those things which fit in a SCORM definition. Right. If it doesn't fit in a SCORM definition, then suddenly it's a problem. But we know uh, academically that there are really important things that won't fit in a SCORM definition. I mean, reflective practice is arguably the best possible way to learn. Yeah. So where exactly in my SCORM tree am I going to put something like um, asking you a question about your perception of how uh, emotional intelligence is playing a role in the modern business environment? Mm -hmm. Your response, there's no place for your response. And, and even if there were, then do you as an instructor or do any of us as instructors have time to go through all of the information in that no. response? <clears throat> so we're in desperate need of pre-assessments. We're in yep. desperate need of tools that will acknowledge, recognize patterns, identify, mm -hmm. even if they're just pre-screening and give us a sense of what the kind of uh, core of a response was and um, uh, create a, a kind of rapid recognition solution so that educators, trainers, and the like can all expedite their process of evaluation.